world's first ship for compressed hydrogen transport to be powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Japan and Korea are trying hard to make a new energy economy so that the liquid hydrogen could become frequent just like petroleum and natural gas. As hydrogen does not produce carbon dioxide during combustion, it will be a good fuel to decrease carbon footprints. The Middle East also needs substitute energy sources. Hydrogen Hydrogen is one of the topics that is discussed everywhere at present times when we talk about green transportation. Green transportation is the means of transporting objects that do not destroy natural resources. These means of transportation depend on the energy sources that can be recycled. Hydrogen Production Hydrogen can be generated by various methods, including the use of renewable energy. To produce electricity, wind or solar energy can be used. This electricity can be used to break hydrogen from water by the process of electrolysis. Hydrogen Fuel Cells Many Norwegian companies are establishing different programs to achieve zero-emission transport by attaching liquid hydrogen fuel cells with battery storage by 2023 as decarbonization permeates into the shipping zone. Norwegian electrical systems have a plan of planting a large hydrogen fuel cell on a large container. The power of this large hydrogen fuel is 3.2 megawatts. It would be a huge cell that is ever placed on a ship. To move such a large 3.2 megawatt cell must not be easy. It would be a great challenge. Hydrogen is the best substitute for the reduction of emissions as it is produced from the renewable resources. Advantages of using hydrogen fuel cells in ship. According to a research, due to shipping, almost 3% of greenhouse gases are emitted. The main advantage of the ship that is being operated on liquid hydrogen is that it will decrease emissions and it will also make the quality of air better. In short, it will reduce pollution. While moving a ship from one place to the other through the water is not as simple as it looks, it takes a large amount of energy to do this. To reduce the emissions, some energy may decrease by ships using more designs that could work better, such as integrating science to harness wind. If we succeed in fully decarbonizing the shipping, it will reduce pollution. It will also maintain the temperature of our Earth. Therefore, hydrogen must be a good choice to replace with fossil fuels. Cooling the temperature. The hydrogen is cooled to negative 253 degrees Celsius, only 20 degrees above absolute zero. It is the coolest temperature that is possible. This temperature keeps the hydrogen in liquid form and it reduces the risk of breaking the walls of the container. This temperature keeps the hydrogen in liquid form and it reduces the risk of breaking the walls of the container. It is cooled so that it can be prevented from draining through the tank's walls as the hydrogen molecules are very small and they can flow from spaces between the atomic structures of the metal container when the temperature is kept very high. First ship design that runs on hydrogen. World's first ship that runs on hydrogen is designed by Compagnie Maritime Belge, CMB. The name of this unique ship is Hydroville, which means water city or hydrogen city. It was launched three years ago. It has enough capacity as 16 people can be seated easily. It has a good quality that doesn't emit carbon dioxide or sulfur. However, it emits nitrogen and water, and these two are not taken as pollutants. CEO of the company, Alexander Savarez, says that using hydrogen as a fuel is the only permanent solution to reduce the pollution. Hydroville can run on both fuels. Hydroville can run both on hydrogen and regular fuel. Design of Hydroville Compagnie Maritime Belge, CMB, has started working on other projects. They are going ahead to construct some other boats that run only on hydrogen. After the production of hydrogen, its use to run the ships is very important. There are many processes by which we can use hydrogen as a fuel. It can be combusted in the internal combustion engine. Hydroville works on the same principle. It has a fail-safe hydrogen power design. The design will also give advantage to the manufacturers of the vehicles to make hydrogen-fueled automobiles. 
After many efforts, the design was made final. The design of the ship was tested and accepted by Lloyd's Register Group. Length, Width, and Speed of Hydroville The length of the Hydroville is 14 meters, length of the beam is 4.2 meters, and length of draft is 0.65 meters. It can run at a speed of 22 knots that is ideal cruising speed. The maximum speed that Hydroville could attain is 27 knots. The weight of the ship is 12 tons. Full load displacement of Hydroville is 14 tons. The ship also gives the facility of business class in three alignments. An arrangement for a business meeting could also be made if all the 16 seats are arranged around a table. In cinema alignment, the seats are arranged in front of the screen so that the passengers could enjoy a movie. Hydroville also has a kitchen in it. Toilet is also present. Soundproofing and air conditioners are also present. Wi-Fi facility is also available for the passengers for free. USB chargers are also provided for ease. Special engines of the ship. The ship has two hydrogen engines. These are internal combustion engines. They produce a large power that is almost 441 kilowatts. The supply of the fuel comes from 12 tanks of 2051 with 200 bar pressure. Two diesel fuel tanks are also present. Diesel tanks are for an emergency case if hydrogen supply runs out. The combustion engines that are built in the ship provide high reliability for fuel cells. These fuel cells are sensitive to seawater. So this was it for today's video. We hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more informational and fun videos. And if you liked the video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and for future updates, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.